Hey everybody, Phil here with Houston Kiteboarding. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about sun protection today. Um, as you know, the kite shop is here in Houston, Texas. The sun is pretty intense and they come out unprotected and maybe get a little lobster tan going, which is not becoming, so you should protect yourself against that. We have everything here in the shop you need. We actually just got a few new products um, that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this is Dermatone. It's a clear zinc product. It's a one ounce, the four ounce. Um, Dermatone uh, clear zinc doesn't rub off like normal uh, sunscreens. You can see I'll put a little bit on my on my hand. When I rub this in, they call it clear zinc, but it's still going to have a little bit of protection. You can see it's just thicker, um, which is great. It's very smooth, not greasy. Um, feels awesome, but that's going to stay on for your whole kiteboarding session, right? Water resistant, just like everything else says, but I'm telling you, um, this is the best stuff. It doesn't come off. So, you know, nose right here. I put it on my lips so I don't get burned. Um, so that's the first line of defense, obviously, is a good sunscreen. Next is a hat. I'm kind of famous. I'm not famous. I'm not famous at all. But um, I'm known for wearing the Indo hat, which is this guy from Decline. The Indo hat's a great hat. This is the Dust Buster, Lawrence of Arabia style, you know, flaming chariot of fire in the back. You're riding along and it's flapping in the breeze. This needs to come off immediately, you guys. Immediately. Nothing's worse than the Lawrence of Arabia neck protector. Um, there's a couple of buttons with the loops. You just take it right off. Don't don't wear an Indo hat, please, with the Lawrence of Arabia in the back. Not kite surfing because it just flaps. looks funny. Okay, so this is it. The thing that's great about the Indo hat is it has a brim all the way around, and then there's a transition right here to a stiff brim in the front. This is stiff. So even on the jet ski, that will stay right here. Um, what happens with the normal hat, kind of like, like a buoy hat, is this is just up the whole time. So you might as well not wear a hat. The sun's just, you know, hits your face. With this, even in the wind, it's going to stay down and protect your, um, your nose and your lips and all that. Um, so that's great. Covers up the ears. I burn my ears constantly. Some people say my ears stick out. It's not right. They're in there. Normal. These are normal sized ears, everybody. Um, but just to protect them anyway, I use this with the sides. Okay, so some other ones. This is a surf cap. Similar, look how small that brim is. People complain that they can't see the kite through the brim. So this is a short brim surf cap. Adjustable, obviously. There's only one size. Um, and then covers the ears for the um, ear protection as well. Um, actually, another nice thing about this is you can actually wear it under a helmet. I do that occasionally too. Um, in case the Indo hat wasn't embarrassing enough, I do the helmet over the surf cap, right? So then you have the brim protection. This is the trucker surf hat. The trucker surf has a normal brim higher up top. It's not like a skull cap like the other one. Um, and then a full brim with the sides. Same attachment um, as, the, uh, as the other one, right? A little bit of bunge going on there, which is cool. That's it. Those are our three hat options. Next thing you have is a good pair of shades. So important for kiteboarding shades is to get, um, is to get a good lens that's polarized actually makes a huge difference. The glare, the reflection will be less. Um, won't bother your eyes as much. Um, and they have to be cheap. That's just the deal. You, I, I bought a nice pair of gas can Oakleys um, like five years ago. I literally lost them the first day I used them. In the ocean, I had all kinds of stuff tied to them. Um, these guys are water uh, aqua sules, right? They have the band in the back, so they actually fit tight on your head. Your eye socket actually pushes on this to keep them on there when you crash and they're relatively expensive. I think they're like 28 bucks or something. Um, cheap enough where you can lose them and you're not going to cry about it. This is a set of uh, Kurokis just like they've been making forever. This is the extreme version, lots of float. So if you have a pair of um, glasses for a prescription that are tinted or whatever, you can use them with these. Um, the clasp goes way up on this. Uh, so you know when they do fall off, which they will, I don't care how you attach them to yourself, when they do, they'll float, and you can find them because they're bright. Um, so that's really cool. So finally, the last thing, and people don't think about this one. Last thing is gloves. Ask Chris Summers, okay? Chris is out there all the time teaching, um, and he burns right here on top of his hands. Even with the gloves, with the Dekine gloves, um, there's a mesh, and you'll burn right through that. These are a Sea to Summit glove. We just got these in. 
This is actually a Rash Guard um, Lycra right here. 50 plus protection. It's super awesome. Really thin, really stretchable, great. The other side, this is all leather with a reinforced um, mid part here. Really, really nice glove. Solid glove to wear for kiteboarding. Um, the Dekines are great, but in my opinion, they're a little too lightweight duty. And then the mesh on the back, you actually burn through. But the lightweightness is nice if you're looking for something really lightweight. These are a little heavy duty, heavier duty. The um, gloves fit just like a standard glove. So I have, I have large hands, I wear a large. The Dekines run a bit small. Um, we have both in stock, full finger in the Dekines and then half finger with the C to Summit, obviously. Um, so that's about it for the sun protection. Um, other than the rash guard, obviously, which we kind of talked about in another video. Lycra rash guards are like a loose fit. A loose fit's more like, let's see, like this would be a loose fit. Um, or it's a little looser on your body. Here's another loose fit right here. Either way, you know, these are gonna have an SPF of 50 minimum, which is gonna keep you from burning out there. There's nothing, there's just nothing worse than getting a good burn. So that's it guys. Phil with Houston Kiteboarding, AmericanKiteboarding.com. We're gonna have all the sun protection items kind of in one category. And I'm gonna to link to that category below um, in this uh, video. So check them out. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.